Hi guys, Sai is here back with another interesting and most important video. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about how to decrypt dynamic rooms, dynamic devices, AB slot devices. I'm not going to talk only about decryption. Also, I'm going to talk about what is the use of DFE Neo? How can we use this DFE Neo to decrypt our device? What instruction we need to follow? I will explain this all things. Not only this, also, I'm going to talk about what is the benefits of decrypted device. Yeah, guys, if I'm a decrypted user, so in my case, like uh, if my device is uh, so how can I recover? Can I recover my data? Can I recover my device without uh, losing my data? So this all things I will cover in this video. So watch this video till the end. And if you are new on this channel, then definitely subscribe this channel. You will get a very interesting and very useful stuff in this channel. Okay. And also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. So as we can see here it is we have a two devices for example purpose so on my left this device is realme 5 okay realme 5 series device that means realme 5 5y 5s so this uh, three models in this one realme 5 series device okay now talking about on my right side this is a mi 11 x device this is a ab slot device okay on my left that realme 5 series device is normal device but the room which is running on my that uh, realme 5 series device that is dynamic room okay and on my right side that is a mi 11 x that is ab slot device dynamic device plus the rom which is run on my mi 11 x that is also a dynamic room okay so this is the difference between these both devices okay so talking about this process i mean talking about this decryption process this process working on any device which is running on uh, dynamic room okay so you are good to go to flash this decrypt decrypt uh, dfe neo file uh, on your any dynamic uh, room running device okay so i am going to take this these both devices as an example but you can uh, follow this process for any device any device which is running on dynamic room okay okay so let's start the process so uh, i will explain this over whole process on me 11x okay so let's begin the process okay first of all check the device is encrypted or decrypted so how to check your device is encrypted or decrypted simply open settings then go privacy and security settings and after that uh, scroll down and here it is the option is encryption and credential if it shows phone not encrypted that means your device is decrypted if it shows phone uh, encryption credential encrypted that means your device is encrypted so in my case it shows phone not encrypted why because i already decrypted my device but i'm repeating this process to show you how to decrypt our device okay so if you want to encrypt your device then you need to do format data or uh, first of all you need to flash a rom uh, that is uh, stock rom or custom rom then after that do format data then reboot it your device gonna encrypt it but talking about in decryption case uh, if you are want to decrypt your device so first important point is if you uh, you want to decrypt your uh, desired rom so if you which rom you are using on your device that rom you want to decrypt or if you want to decrypt any other rom so flash that rom first okay then okay i want i don't want to flash any rom because i want to decrypt my present rom so how can i do it first of all go on format section and simply do format data type yes then click on reboot okay after uh, sorry click on uh, format data after completion of format data then reboot your device into recovery okay after rebooting uh, your device on recovery what is next step uh, the next step is just um, connect your pen drive otg whatever or sd card on your device okay because we need that thing okay then wipe the uh, dalvi card cache metadata okay if you want to uh, install any in other room and you want to decrypt any other room so on that case you need to do this wipes uh, wipes partition okay i'm not going to change any rom i want to decrypt my present rom so what i need to do first of all i uh, do format data then reboot to recovery after that i am going to flash dfe neo file okay so uh, i connected my pen drive to this device and after that now it's time to uh, mount the pen drive okay so after mounting this as we can see here it is the different type of files and this is the dfe file i will provide the link of this file on description so simply download it okay Okay, now I'm going to flash this. So see very carefully. Now the important instruction is here. So we need to note this important instruction. So what is this instruction? I will explain one by one. 
so simply watch this carefully so as we can see the first instruction is here as we can see it's asking me you, know, you want to reinstall this dfe yeah guys i'm going to press volume up key because i'm going to reinstall this dfe yeah i already told you i am already decrypted user so i already use this dfe so it's i say i choose reinstall after that next instruction is present like it asks me install a patch hide the uh, lack of encryption yeah guys so what is this instruction if you want to hide the decryption from any app like we are going to decrypt our device right so any app is not working on decrypted device so we need to hide that decryption so we need to uh, hide that decryption and we will show like our device is encrypted so if you want to do this then simply press the volume up key so i don't want to do this because i don't want any hiding mechanism for decryption so simply i ignored it okay uh, okay uh, here it is um, one error is here because i actually not press so it have a specific time so in this specific time we will ne we need to do this all steps uh, fastly okay so i delayed that's why it error one is present okay so this error 2 is present for delaying because we are not pressing the keys instantly so again i am going to repeat this process uh, so see carefully so but i think you un understand what is that instruction i will explain again so let's see carefully so i am going to flash again it so we have a very limited time to press volume up volume down keys that means we need to select the instruction uh, instantly so let's see so as uh, i previously told the first instruction we need to press volume up key because in my case i am reinstalling this dfe right now so that's why now talking about second instruction we need to press volume down key so choose according to you if you want to hide this decryption so you need to press volume up if you don't want to hide decryptions just go for volume down after that the next instruction it says install inbuilt safety net fix okay so if you want any safety net fix so here it is a uh, next instruction is also present that it says that if you want a uh, safety net fix then you need to in a install magisk so i don't want install magisk i don't want to root so i'm really going to press volume down key and next instruction remove lock screen so if you want to remove lock screen then press volume up okay i don't want to remove any lock screen i don't put any lock screen so simply go for down key now talking about next instruction it says uh, connect modified f step during earlier partition so press the volume down key it is not necessary for us simply ignore it now talking about what is next instruction it says this uh, remove system integrity check so don't we don't need this so uh, we are also going to press volume down again because this all things are uh, when you are a device is when you are going to do root then if you want this access without uh, enabling on zygis so you can do it so like next instruction is force enable zygis during boot so no i no need to do this anything so simply i go for volume down again because this instruction need root access we need to install magisk or kernel su but i don't want to root my device now so that's why ignoring this all things okay now what is next it asks me force record denial is during boot again we need zygisk for and zygis need magisk so or root so i am going to again ignore it so press the volume down key so now talking about what is next instruction continue installation with current parameters yeah i want to install the dfe with current parameters i choose my th uh, all instruction which is deny all i all instruction i choose no no that means i all for an all instruction i press volume down key i don't want any uh, i don't want any function which is connected with root so simply i select all parameters after that vol press volume up key when it asks continue uh, installation with current parameters on that case i press volume up key only okay when i talking about previous instruction i only press volume down key because i don't want connection with root so i ignore that all things just volume down volume down after that when it asks choose current parameters so i going to press volume up after that completion of flashing whole file it asks me uh, it say okay, not asking it uh, tell me just uh, wipe the data partition because if you are going to decrypt your device for first time it's mandatory yeah if you not um, in my case i don't want to do this because my device is already decrypted but you are encrypted user you are going to do this all things for first time then you need to do format data sorry you need to wipe data partition only okay so where this data partition 
I will show you where this data partition on wipe section that a box is present which is data so just we need to select that data box and simply swipe that means we need to wipe that data partition after that we are good to go to boot our device okay so just note this all points okay you need to select all instruction no and after that when it asks me you are good going you are good to go for going current parameters then you need to press volume up key that's it for all instruction press volume down key and at the last instruction when it asks you you are you are going to ready for install uh, you are going to ready for installation with current parameters on that case you need to press volume up key okay that's it now talking about uh, what is this next step we need to wipe the data partition so where this data partition let's go on wipe section so here it is the wipe section just tick this data partition and swipe it after that after completion this just click on reboot system that's it you are now a decrypted user now what is you can do what is the decrypted device and what is the benefits of decrypted device i will tell you so now our device is decrypted and now our device is going to boot on decrypted state okay so now you are uh, now what you are now what you can do now upcoming days or now if you want to in future if you want to change custom rom or if you want to change a lot of custom roms so you no need to do format data you no need to do this any things just you need to uh, wipe that uh, partition data metadata uh, uh, dalvi card cache you need to wipe this all partitions after that go on install section and just first you need to flash firmware after that you need to flash rom after that flash the dfe with uh, proper instruction which i show which i shown you na which i show you go for that instruction after that click on reboot you no need to do format data okay format data is mandatory for encrypted users but talking about decrypted users you no need to do format data that means your internal storage is safe your internal storage your videos audios all files are safe in your internal storage okay so this is the first benefit of decrypting your device talking about second benefit in future in upcoming days we don't know suddenly our device going to break suppose i am talking about imagination purpose suppose your device going to break okay so on that situation on that case you are good to go to take backup you good to go to take your uh, data you can recover your data because your device is decrypted so there is no encryption problem so you simply install the custom recovery or simply you need to boot your uh, device on custom recovery and connect your p uh, phone with pc and you are take that whole data on your pc and you can uh, fully clean format flash your device so this is the second benefit so a lot of benefits is here for decrypted users so this is the main two benefits one you can flash any custom rom without doing format data without wiping your internal storage and talking about second important um, benefit is uh, you can recover your you can safely recover your data from your uh, uh, your bricked device so this is the benefits okay so this is the process and you can follow this process for any dynamic uh, device or normal device which is running on dynamic rom so this is the process if you like this video then please definitely like and share this video you can get a lot of interesting stuff on this channel okay so so bye goodbye take care see you in the next video love you guys